Hello everyone, my name is Alicia Crossley. I'm an alumna of Caroline Chisholm Catholic College and I was part of the graduating class in 2013. My life is quite different to how it was seven years ago as a cheeky high school student at 4C. My old teachers would be happy to know that I'm currently working at Ashurst, a global commercial law firm, um, as a graduate lawyer in their employment law practice. I'm also the national president at a not-for-profit called the Australia Tiny Youth Association. In this short presentation, I'll be telling you a little bit about my academic journey um, in through university and high school. Um, and I'll also be giving you um, a couple of tips and tricks about how to, how to transition um, as seamlessly as possible from high school to university or TAFE life, if that's a pathway that you're looking to go down. After receiving my ATAR score at the end of year 12, I was offered to study a double bachelor's degree in law and arts at Monash University in Clayton. Transitioning from um, high school to university was quite jarring um, and took a little bit of time to adjust. Um, this was predominantly due to the fact that I was living about two hours away from uni at the time. Um, so it would take me about four hours on public transport all up to get to and from university. This was a sacrifice I was willing to make because I knew that Monash um, was one of the best law schools in Victoria um, and they had excellent academic staff. But aside from the commute, um, high school is quite different to university because um, university requires a lot of self-motivation. Um, while I didn't have the luxury of having my days planned out for me or the excitement of seeing my friends at the lockers every day, um, I did have the excitement of starting a brand new chapter um, and taking that forward independently. After my first year of university, I decided to take an intermission or a gap year um, so I could obtain some industry experience and so I could know for sure that law was the pathway that I wanted to go down. Um, a law degree takes a long time, so I wanted to be sure that that was what I wanted to do before um, really getting stuck into it. Um, I was lucky enough during my year off to get a job as a legal assistant for a sole practitioner. Um, and I worked in family law at the time and building and construction law. So that really solidified my um, desire to work in the law. Um, on my year off, I also traveled to Xi'an, China, where I worked um, at a special needs center. Um, at that time, I had only completed one year of Chinese studies because I had chosen it as my major for my arts degree. Um, and so the language barrier was quite intense at the time, but it really solidified my um, desire to keep um, learning about Australia-China relations. And that's been a, an interest of mine throughout my entire tertiary studies and also now um, as a young professional. Um, so in terms of my experiences during law school, contrary to what that quote says in Legally Blonde, um, law school is in fact quite hard um, and it requires kind of uh, adopting a different way of thinking and a different way of learning um, than what's required in high school. Um, it also required a lot of self-discipline um, and required me to make a lot of sacrifices in terms of socialising and seeing my family and friends. Um, there are a number of all-nighters involved in my five and a half years at university, so um, that's something to mentally prepare yourself for. Um, but the great thing about studying law is that it opens up um, various pathways after graduation. So not all law graduates become lawyers. Some work in government, some work in banking, um, some work in businesses, human resources. Um, so the, the journey is tough, but the reward is, you know, a a pathway open for many different opportunities. So a little bit about my career now. Um, after law school, I went on to complete a clerkship, which is like an internship for law students. Um, the clerkship process is really competitive and draining. Um, the recruitment process can go on for months with lots and lots of different interview stages. So I was lucky enough to get a clerkship at Ashurst. Um, and then I was offered a position as a graduate, which is kind of like a trainee lawyer. Um, I currently work in their employment team. 
um, where I um, advise companies on their workplace relations obligations, um, employment contracts, and more recently, the impacts of COVID-19 on the workplace um, and their return to work arrangements. Before working in employment law, I also worked in um, the disputes resolutions practice um, as a paralegal, where I assisted on financial regulation matters um, which have come out of the Banking Royal Commission. Working at a global law firm is really exciting. Um, I'm surrounded by lots of smart people, so really fantastic learning opportunities are available um, to us as young lawyers. Um, there's also some really cool secondment opportunities to work in um, some of the international offices, like in Dubai or London, Singapore, Milan, etc. Um, so that's a really exciting part about working at Ashurst. Um, but I think the main thing that um, you should look for when you're looking for a job is the people and um, the culture of the place that you're going to be working in. Um, Ashurst has a really welcoming and comfortable culture where um, we all support each other. So that's really important um, as a junior to know that you have that kind of support available. All right, so now I'm going to be moving on to my top five tips um, on how to transition as seamlessly as possible from high school to university. All right, tip number one is don't be afraid to take a gap year um, to better understand what it is that you want to do. No one's expecting you to have your whole life planned out at the moment, um, but it is important to kind of have a general idea of the industry that you want to go into or the type of career that you, uh, the type of career path that you want to go down. Um, taking a gap year can give you that well needed time to understand what it is that you actually want to do with your life. Um, and this will avoid having to pay um, lots of money to transfer courses later on down the track if you end up changing your mind then. All right, my second tip is um, get involved at in university clubs or if you're not going to university, then get involved in community clubs. This is a really good way to find your niche and to find uh, like-minded people. Um, it was the way that I found that I was really interested in Chinese relations because I got involved in a university club called Akia, which I'm still involved in now. Um, it's also um, a really great way to showcase leadership skills on your resume. So tip number three is to seek mentorship from your teachers or older students. Um, your teachers are your allies. So don't be afraid to open yourself up to receiving mentorship from them and you'd be surprised how much you can really learn. Um, I sought mentorship in year 12 from John Dakin, who was my year 12 history teacher at the time. Um, and he was really helpful when I was undertaking um, an extension program where I completed two university subjects in year 12. Um, I also sought mentorship from Miles Collins, who um, some of you may remember. Um, he was my year 12 drama teacher and their support was really quite instrumental in me getting into law school. So I would definitely recommend to um, seek mentorship from your teachers. My fourth tip is for those interested um, in studying law, I would really recommend um, undertaking a double degree. Um, this not only makes you more employable when it comes to you looking for a job later on down the track, um, but it also relieves some of the pressure of studying straight law. Um, I paired my law degree with an arts degree, so I studied Chinese throughout my law degree, um, and it really used a completely different part of my brain. So it was a, a welcome respite after, you know, reading through chapters and chapters and chapters of cases. So I would really recommend pairing um, your law degree with an arts degree, commerce degree, et cetera, et cetera. So my fifth and final piece of advice is to choose a degree or pathway that you actually want to do. It'll become very clear to you in your first few months outside of high school that um, you are fully responsible for the life that you have ahead of you. Um, only you will be going through the trials and tribulations of the course that you embark on um, and only you will be commencing a career in that particular field. So it's really important that you try not to get um, influenced or persuaded by external sources when you're making those kinds of decisions um, because at the end of the day, really only you will be living your life. 
And that concludes my short presentation to you all. Um, if anyone has any questions about anything I discussed in this video, please feel free to get in touch. Um, I'll link my details below. Follow, subscribe, like my channel. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to answer any, any of your questions if they're law school related or otherwise. Thanks.